company. This is John Bain. What a welcome you to Factory Town. Hope you guys are doing pretty good today. I'm doing great myself. Oh, no, don't forget to remind you guys to hit that subscribe button, notification bell, so you can be here when things are happening. And we are making things happen right now. And uh, I've been doing a little bit of work, testing and stuff like that, playing around with some things. Kind of worked to where um, I'm refeeding fertilizer back on our farms. So, I mean, they're, they're not efficient because we're backed up as hail and everything. But at least we're able to continue to move our, our, our loveliness here. How much fertilizer do I have? I have a lot. Which is okay. We can get rid of some because we have way too much. There, I just wasted it. I'd rather do that. But anyway, uh, let me get... This is going to bother me. That's not bothering me anymore. Let's do this. So anyway, I did a little bit of things off camera. I just got some automation done for our conveyor belts and end up uh, using our conveyor belts. Uh, we'll got them here. And then we also have some getting made now too. They do sell for a good amount. Uh, let's go up to here. I was kind of digging through stuff. Uh, they sell for 22 gold a pop, which is pretty good. But it looks like you need at least two of these lovely barns running of these lovely workshops of wheels going out the door to kind of get it going and it still is not enough so i feel like double that capacity running another line in would make it to where it's constantly making them these workshops are maxed out and uh your wood is slowly going down actually it's out now on that end so uh we need to look at a couple different things this episode first off we need to get iron going um and then we i want to look at doing the forestry stuff too is those apples we have apples saved right we got apples right do we use all our apples do we have apples we don't have apples. Why do I have milk in here? We don't need the milk saved. Um, I think I want to grab the apples from these guys real quick. It might be pretty inefficient yet again. Let's go ahead and do what everybody loves and flatten this sucker out. There we go. Get it to where they're on our level here so our peoples can reach it without too much of an issue. There we go. Nice. Okay, so we have that up. I'm going to put a road down now. And this is just to help out this. We're also getting low on planks. We need to do some more. I want to save the ones that we're using to build up our houses. Just, again, so I have no other alternative. No recourse. Let's put a couple guys here. And I did put this for iron only. Yes, I did. Okay, good. So if I tell you to go here, what are you going to do? You're going to take them back to where? To your house. No, we can't do that yet. We need to save some of these. So let's go ahead and choose you and tell you to go to the base with them. Same with you. And I want to have some because I want to be able to grow them later for stuff. And we need to have some to be able to grow stuff later for stuff. Maybe move it to barns at a later time. We might end up doing that as making a barn thing around here for some more storage. Um, but at least we have that started. Let's go ahead and continue the road over. So they have a way to go by. And let me clean up some of these other roads right quick because they were looking pretty. They're looking pretty shabby. Shabby right there, man. That looks pretty bad. We need to be getting into blue research ASAP too. We have no coins, so we need to be getting blue incoming and um, be able to do our research. So that's what I was trying to say originally. Didn't come out that way. Um, I could automate the milk out here, but I kind of want to do some things here because if you look um, right now, I've got it about as balanced as I can. If I slow this down at all, we'll get a loss of output. Um, and this guy right here, he needs to get two grain to make one of the animal feed. And the animal feed here requires two animal feed to make the milk. So uh, this is not best, such not an ideal situation, but we're, 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 we we got stuff happening. And that's important because we're trying to learn some more of the mechanics before we really commit to build um, a big build, a huge build, basically a high efficiency build that maximizes the amount of coin possible and the happiness I also read that the happiness was one of the tips. The higher the happiness, the faster buildings work. So that's where I saw the boost from before because they were fully happy. Um, I pulled off the wheels from coming here because, again, this barn's full and we're filling up this one. As soon as this one's full, I'm going to run conveyors probably to that potentially. Do we have anything logistics that is like a timer block that lets us oops, do stuff? I don't think so. Um, we could potentially do something where we run a splitter. And then it runs every other one. Like we could pull out, have it do a little circle or loop or something, and then like come out here, come around, and then go to here, have a splitter that sends one back to the barn and one to the general store. So that way we're not like burning up our conveyors, but still making 22 gold a pop. We could go ahead and I guess build that since we're getting close to being full anyway. I'm going to pretend that one's like this. So we're going to do this guy like that, this guy here, and then we'll just put this like that, and then we'll put you going back in. And then we'll lead you to the general store. 
So we can have that. Let's go ahead and bring up a logistics. Let's grab our splitter. So then this way, when we put this block down, again, it'll split between the two. As long as we have room inside of our barn, it'll put another one back in there. If we don't, it'll push it out. So let's see how it goes. See the conveyors come round and round. So every other one is going to be going to the general store so we can make 22 gold a pop, which is pretty nice. Um, if we get too much of a de deficit, the thing about it, I have a, this barn is I just want this to stay full just in case I need it for builderizations. It looks like we can manage almost to keep. Oh, we're about to go down. Yep. So it was just slow, just just barely taking out too much than what we can push out right now. And we aren't having enough wheels to make it go anymore. We'll let that run for a little bit so we get some more gold in our in our pockets, a little bit of change. Now, looking at our economy tab, there's some cool things in here. Like we have there's cooked fish, which we can do that since we have a kitchen now. We've got a kitchen unlocked. Um, cloth, they'll buy cloth for four gold for a pop, which is pretty good. But further on down, if we're going to invest into making T-shirts at a workshop, we could get ten a piece. And since this guy is not really being used right now. I think we could try that out and see how well it works in our in our in our current situations. So let's see here. We need to build us a workshop that should be over here on seven. That's a barn. It should be on six. There we go. I think it's in the workshop. Let's just put it here now. We're doing testing. And there's the shirt. So it takes two cloth and in four seconds it pops out a shirt. Okay, let's try that out. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and pause the simulation and press Oops, wrong button four. I'm just gonna pull these off for now and then get rid of these so we get some planks back because we do need some more planks. And then get rid of you. There we go. And then run you out into here. And we chose shirts already. So we this is all it needed to do to make this happen. Let's see how quickly it if it does it. We do need to get some faster belts unlocked too. So it gets two cloth by the time it's done currently at its worker speed. And yeah, that's okay. And I think the speed is, is definitely going to call for us using a belt. Um, we don't have the most, you know, we have to be, be thinking about how we're going to do a logistics around the general store. What will probably end up happening is we'll have a series of belts surrounding it and putting inputs in and then having um, things tie into the surrounding belt to push stuff in eventually. Right now, we're just, again, just just, just fiddling around, doing whatever. Um, we could potentially do some things here. Let's go ahead and remove this row and then get rid of you. That means we can get rid of the splitter. That cleaned it up some, and maybe we can just run something like this and have it interconnect to our other belt here and see how that goes because it's only putting out every other one of the conveyors. So we should be able to slam a shirt in there with it sometimes. Here comes the shirts. And that will give us more red coins. We need red coins, not for research anymore, but to power things or to pay workers. I'm assuming that's what the thought process behind it was. If you look at a Forester, uh, where is it at? Let's put a Forester, like, ooh, maybe... Let's just put it right here for now. Let's put it up in here somewhere, or somewhere. Oh, I don't have the stuff for it. What do I need? Can we place on terrain? This is terrain. Okay, let's put one right there. Let's look at it right quick. So you can see the recipe for wood takes one red coin. So it, that's every two seconds. So if we are not feeding it in, we'll eventually drain out of coins, and then our Foresters will stop, and then whatever is being fed by... Wood will get will be knocked out and stuff like that. We don't want that. Uh, what I will do is remove this footpath. And this way we can open this up. And then go to F1, press 8. Let's bring this down. Is it that's that? Yep, that's it there. Let's bring this down. And let's make us a little forester section. Run, forester, run. There we go. And this is going to give us a little cliff here, but hey, whatever, right? Oh, we can go that far? Can we, okay, we can't go any further. Let's just do that then. Give a little little square area. It looks kind of ugly, but we'll eventually own everything. It's an infinite map, so that I don't think that's going to really happen, but we'll get close. We'll get close. So we have that. And let's go over here. And get this all flattened out. 
And we have a crap ton of pears, so what I'm going to do is get rid of the pear trees because I don't want to accidentally gather from them. Okay, so let us look and see what our forester will offer us in sizes of area that it will be able to get from. So this has this has a large claim area. Are we sitting on anything? No, we are actually all out. So we're going to redo what we did last episode. And you're empty too. That's pretty nice because we get to do a nice clean erupper. And let's remove you. Let's remove you. And then we'll get rid of all the peoples. This way we have a clean work area. We can see everything. And we can get some foresters up that will work in the manner in which we want. Okay, so let's do that again. Let's get our buildings. Let's get forester. So if we push you like over to here and then put this one next to you like that, that will be the maximum out there and they will be sucking up two coins every two seconds, right? Yes, together, their, their power combined. Uh, we have herbs already. We need to get that going on very soon. So we have a lot of things to do in this game. And it's kind of cool because we can set each individual thing up the way we'd like to. Okay, so what happens when we're doing farming, mining, we need to do tre tree planters, which we have a crap ton of fertilizer, but we don't have any iron plates. Luckily, we've already got trees around here and we're about to do our iron setup. So, um, and we were already running out of things for stuff. Uh, let's see. Let's do it like this. What is your range again? Is it? We'll look behind you. So you got a two space, so it's like it's five spaces in there. So to maximize our forester area, we'll do it like, wait, that's four. We need it like this. You silly butt. We can at least copy you, put you over there, put that down. Beautifulness, now we'll go to the conveyor. There'll be one row of conveyors. We could probably even use shoots with this, honestly. Let's try that out. Let's try the shoot out instead. Oh, I don't have any planks. It's not on. Oh, I need to have a lumber set up first. It's kind of weird. Like once you unlock it initially, I feel like it should give us it regardless if we have any on the map or not. Lumber mill will be next. There we go. There's a shoot. And this should just run the shoot right into there. And they should roll right in and they'll move decently fast, actually. And I bet you we could do a shoot from here to here. To get this sucker loaded up too. So then we need to get planks, which I need to get more planks anyway. We might just leave it like that and add planks into our builds. Oops, peace out to you. <laughs> All right, so these guys will be working. We'll go ahead and add some workers to get it up to 200. And then, oops, I went to five, so that's a little too much. Also, we need to go ahead and cut off of this real quick. I think what they said, if you press M, it'll remove the product on it, but it'll actually go into your inventory. So we'll do that. We'll remove that from the little box there. That way t-shirts are still going, at least making us some money. So we're making 10, 10 gold a pop, 10, 10 red a pop. How about red? Red works. And see how it's rolling them in there. Is it rolling them out? It is rolling them out. Excellent. So that works. Okay. So over here we have the barn and we're going to need to get some other things happening um actually i'm thinking let's go ahead and clear up this stuff right quick there's that and this will give us some planks back too okay get rid of these okay so from the uh the lumber mills we're going to be running stuff out and then from here we're going to be running stuff out let us see what the forge is so we need the forge and i bet you it's going to take coal we unlock the silo Okay, yeah, 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 we talked about that. Locally stores a single item type. So the silos can't be accessed by your stuff. So what do we got? We're out of polished rock. Um, We need to get some in our chain, too. Since we already have red coming in, we'll worry about maximizing the happiness later. So let's do this. And then add seven below it. Do six here. Nope, that was actually low enough. Cool. There we go. And then we can run you out. And then again, we're just doing this temporarily. So we'll just throw something over here. So let's go over one more and go this way and then add a barn. This will at least give us some lovely polished stone to work with to do with our building. And then we also need to change this. Actually, this needs to change too. 
And then what we'll do is build um, a logistics block of a splitter here. And we can't do that with you still there, okay? The splitter there. And then that way we can get half and half and then we'll get some, some stuff in. All right, so this guy here has got a recipe that we can choose. Iron plates. So that takes fuel and it takes iron ore. Now, I'll choose you. Um, what sucks? There's some coal over there. So that's not too bad. We can do this. So let's do F1. Let's take a barn. Let's pop the barn like this. And then we will do our conveyors yet again. Uh, we need it to go over the road so they can continue. How many apples have we gotten? Probably barely any. 38. Yeah, we'll wait a little bit on saying no to that. So let's go ahead and do this here. And put this guy here. And they can step over something about that tall. But I'm just going to go ahead and give them an extra space just in case. Well, no, that's, that's all the space they get. Hopefully they can make it around that. And then we're going to run you into our forge. And this is for convenience sake. So we now have the forge coming in. We'll have plates. We need to get this guy here ready to go. And that will give us iron plates. We can also update our base once we get enough of these things. And once we get into mining, I like the actual, there's like a mining building. We'll be able to automate that more too. So let's just get these guys going to iron. There we go. We also need to, well, the other guy, we have to set him up too, I guess. We could run the splitter for the coal if we need to. Actually, what I'll do is just put a weird filter on it so nothing goes in there. How about that? That way they are going in there for sure. Okay, they're doing it. Now let's go over here. Yeah, they're doing it. Let's put five over here. One, two, three, four, five. This might be overkill too, but we'll see. Coal, coal coal and coal and then we will make sure you are filtered only for coal there we go and now they'll handle our coal they can't get any over it dang it god dang it boy all right so and i never finished that anyway let's go ahead and get rid of you and you and then get rid of these guys and try this again we'll start from this this far away now and do seven and then is that gonna work it will we be will they be able to Traverse underneath that. So three high, huh? And five. And I'm going to leave the ones below it for now. There we go. Let's see if they can get underneath that. There we go. Happy fun times for everybody. Excellent. He's going to go the long way. That's fine. Cool. So now we have coal. Whoa. Whoa. So now we have coal heading to our iron areas. And there we go. Input right there. Bam. We'll do one more building. We'll do the, the barn so we can actually access it and we, we decide what we want to do with it then. So this is all automated now. And it's getting the fire in. It's getting the fire. Look at that. And it's about to be backed up. So that means we can get a second one going soon. How quickly are you getting filled up? Pretty fast. Okay, let's increase the workers here. See how fast we can burn through this. And now we're actually already getting iron plates in like crazy. That's really nice. So what do we need for an upgrade? We need some more stone brick and we need some more iron plates. Our happiness is at 43 currently. At least they're getting t-shirts, man, and milk. They got t-shirts and milk. You can't beat that. That's a good deal. And they're high rise. Okay, so since all that is happening there, I guess we need to wait for it to get caught up with the mats. And we'll be able to upgrade you. Yep, let it happen. We'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. I let the plates run up over 100 so we can do some forestry planters. But first things first, let's upgrade our base. Base level 4, upgrade. House max increased by 4, new building unlock specialty goods. That is super nice. First off, let's go ahead and go in here and press 4. And get us our next level of housing done when we are out of planks. Wow! Great job, John. Let's go ahead and get our forestry really rocking here. We actually are rocking pretty good. Um, it looks like we are overloading. Oh, because I never put an output for my planks. Shoot, we're good to go. We already have planks set up and I have... Okay, so what we need to do is finally reach into these this resource here.
And then do this one as well. And we can add in some between the two to add more spots in a second, but this should give us enough to get some barns up now. There we go. Right here and right here. And then we'll go ahead and put in our conveyors. So now we'll start getting some planks. Excellent. Planks, plankage is happening again. All right, so let's go ahead and add a scaffolding block here and here. All right there should do it. And that should do it. So now we can go back to F1, press 4. There we go, we got more houses. The thing about building high is that we have to watch out because he did a global globule thing for the top. So let's see if they get enough resources with us being right there. If not, we'll have to stack these things up differently. Don't know if they're going to get anything from where they're reaching from. Let us see what another food market would do and they'll let us tell us where we can cover. It looks like it is covered by that barely. As you can see, okay, so right here, it is not really covered. Is it not getting it at all? These two are not getting it. So they have to be fully covered maybe, or is it just not distributed to you yet? Oh, there's, there we go. They got some, okay. They got some, they're happy. Okay. Let's just watch and see if we can hit too happy with them at least. Anytime you want to get happier, that'd be great. Okay, it looks like that is probably not close enough, but we'll work with what we got yet again. Uh, we do need to upgrade these bad boys too. Upgrade the houses. Oh, there's there we go. Oh, they got a zero happy now. Actually, and we have the stuff to do it again. And we have cloth now, so we can upgrade all the houses. Actually, wow. Wait, do I have any cloth in any storage anywhere? I do have storage of it. It's down to that. This is full. Cool. Perfect. Perfect. Upgrade house. Upgrade house. Upgrade house. Upgrade house. Upgrade house. Upgrade house. And this is why the money coming in is super important too. But what's going to do, look, it's increasing our people quantities that we can have by two. So since we have, what, 20 of these right now, this is really nice for another 20 people, workers available to do work for us here. So this will get us up to 62, 162, 164. All right, cool. Very nice. Now let's press F3, go to five. Let's pop this in here. Have this prep for later. And what is the next upgrade if there's one available? Okay, so it's going to take reinforced planks and stone bricks to upgrade again. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Okay, so we have all that stuff there. That's good. This is in here. We're good to go. We upgraded that all the way. So now we have a big workforce to deal to work with. I was going to say deal with, but that's not really the case. So two things I'd like to get to happen. Well, three things is I want to go ahead and figure out how to adjust this to get the maximum potential out of our milk production, maybe. Well, no. No, 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 no. What we need to do is just go ahead and add in the fish section. And I think we want to do the medicinal herb stuff too. And yeah, I'm looking for areas that really don't have a lot of resources at them. There's is that fish there. That is fish there. I don't want to mess with the fish reserves too much either. We could do it right here, but we're trying to make fish oil, I believe. Let us look at the cost. Let's see how much cooked fish is worth. Um, cooked fish is worth three of those, whereas fish oil is worth the blue, right? It is. So we need to make fish oil. Oil. So what is the... I think that is made in a workshop. Let's check a workshop out right there. Recipe. Is it in here? No, then maybe the kitchens do it. Let's build a kitchen and see. Or are you hiding that from a man? Kitchen right there. Let's put one like back over here, maybe ish. We just unlocked a remedy by placing one. Okay. 
And fish oil's right there, so it takes two fish to make fish oil. Let's have two of these guys working for us. And I'm going to do this now. F1, we'll do you. We'll raise this up and kind of just kind of irk over to there a little bit. And you have just a straight line to help improve efficiency and not be all up on our places, you know, stuff. Now, um, I'm feeling like we need to do something like this instead of what, uh, here, let's do you, let's take you, put you here, let's go ahead and delete you, and then let's have a barn on the edge of the water that pushes out the fish and do a splitter. So we can do this here, and we'll do this there, and we'll do this here, and the initial one here will be a splitter. So let's go to you, let's go to this, let's grab the splitter, and split it like this. So now both are getting the fish oil goods. There we go. And my game just locked up. No, it, okay, locked up for a second. Maybe it was auto-saving. Um, now we can grab you and have you come out. And we'll just do a simple little, I wanna have a little gap there. There we go, and have this over. And we'll take six, bring this over. Seven, 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 six. And there we go. And then just bring you straight on in, which is super nice. So let's take this. There we go. And five, we can get rid of you and you. It won't let me do it. Sometimes those are weird like that. But either way, we have this set up now for that. So now we need to get workers out in the water. So let's grab workers, fishing. Oh, we need nails for shipping. Oh my God. It's not one thing, it's 25 other, right? So that means we need to open up this place. Let's put this here. And let's copy you. And then do four. Choose nails for you. And then we need to get this coal coming over. So what I'm going to do is actually take this risen height here and just kind of maintain that. And come like this. Yep, that's it there. And grab you. And bring it all the way through here. And then we'll do that. And we should have enough conveyors because we have a stack load of them still. And then what I'm going to do is do a split. A splitter. You could probably do a pusher too and be okay. We'll just do a splitter. No, we don't want a splitter because it's going to push it in there. So let's get rid of the splitter. Let's build a, let's do a pusher then. And this will push the coal into the first uh, forge first and then go into the other one. And that should work. And we have you set the nails, right? It only takes one fire and one for each nail. And then we also need to start assigning these guys. We need to get you set up to take... Oh, if I had it filtered up, it wouldn't... We were, okay, we, we were good to go, because the filter wouldn't have allowed that in there. So let's do you. Two. Three. Four. And then five. This way we're split up. And they're going to they're gonna load up whatever's closest to them anyway, but now we can get nails coming in. And now that the coal... The coal get pushed in there every time it needs one. Oops, I forgot to turn you in. There we go. And now we got nails coming in. Excellent. So basic fish thing has already been started now. We'll be able to do fish oil. That'll give us start bringing in blue coins, which means we can look at research again. Our red coins are holding out. And we now oops, I would need to go ahead and build, before we run out of trees, some tree planters here. Let's just do this shape. And then we'll go here and we'll build. Uh, we have 650 logs, so we should be okay. Trees. And these will at least get a start on it. I don't want to burn up all our plates just yet. So at least we'll have them going. And you can see the shaky trees is where they're actually getting them from. So that's good. And we could eventually work a way to where our forestry is actually near our grain production or our, our cows and stuff. 
so we could take that fertilizer and help out with the fertilizer. But for now, we're just going to run it the way it is. Pretty soon, the stun will be gone, which will be nice because we'll have an open, clear center for the first time. I don't want to pay gold to get rid of those because we need to hold on to our gold. We're getting down a little bit lower than I want to be right now, um, which we need to look at other options to increase our yellow coin here soon. But uh, I'm, I can't wait for more nails. How many do we have now? We have 35, so we can probably do two fishermen very soon. So let's go and grab that fishing boat. And then tell them to fish this, and it brings it to the barn. And then I'm going to set the barn up to only take fish. There's the milk. Where's the fishies? Where's the fishies? Where they have the fishies at? There they are right there. Fish. Check. Go. There we go. And now this will push out fishies to both of our kitchens. Is it going to be enough? Do we need to increase our barns? It looks like we may need to do that. Inputs. Uh, it's actually the inputs overloading still. So it's pu constantly pushing out fish oil. Okay, that's fine. And, oops, the fish oil doesn't get sold there. When you put an apothecary down. Forgot. Let's put the apothecary a little bit closer. And this is probably where we'll end up moving most of our guys. Like, uh, does this still cover the top of this? Or does it stop? Right there. So if we move you into, like, maybe right here. And then reroute our stuff, we'll be okay. So let's do the M thing here. And that way we can get rid of the fish oil to our inventory somewhere. And then remove these guys. Actually, let's have it go... Uh, I'd rather have it go up over there. Let me go ahead and clean this up since you guys have seen this part. And we'll get into the next thing where we're doing the medicinal herbs. And we will be right back. Okay. I threw in some schools, too. Uh, we need to get the research running. And I've chosen railways. They take eight of the uh, papers. Or the, the what we got. Um, and see, I could do books. Um, which would provide 10 research per eight, but, um, we're getting that the next time. The reason why I went with railways, other than it being super cool, is, I don't think this will show it, look at the recipes. To get to mining, we need to have railways unlocked. So mining is, is a big thing for me. And, uh, we are already almost at 500 blue coins, and that is super nice. Now, with the herbal stuff, I'm not sure where I want to put it yet. I, I kind of like kind of the spread we have. I could make this place a little bit tighter and more smart, but I really want to get the mines done so I can really get into having what my uh, my main like resource gathering is going to be. Um, yeah, and we're, are we full on plates yet? We are almost. We're full on freaking nails, though. Holy crap. Where are you taking that, man? Over to that barn. Okay, that's fine. Okay, uh, I wonder, can we sell plates or nails either? Is that a thing? Iron plates, they sell for one a piece. Okay, that's not too bad of a deal. Um, if we can keep the plates going at a decent rate, I'm still using them to build stuff with, though, so I have to be kind of careful here. Um, I did fill in the forestry area, too, and look, we got that coming in. We have research happening for railways. At least we have two guys doing it, so by the time it loads up, it'll be okay. And this guy can be a little bit faster. Let's just do four in each of them. Increase the amount out and see if we can beat our, get our input matched. Looks like we'll be waiting on input. No, it's doing it. Looks like a good match. Uh, it's going to suck it up just a tad bit faster than it can get in. And how are you doing over here? You're doing okay. So at least we can push our research up decently fast to get the railways done. And then by the time we get to the uh, mining, we should have enough extra from fish oil blues to push through mining and get that unlocked. Um, I really, 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 really want to get some of that done here. Uh, I almost don't want to remove the coal because that's a prime spot. Okay, we have, we have room over here. We have room over here. And we have herbs here that we aren't going to keep any longer. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. Let's do this. Where is it at? Right here on this edge here. We need to really get our, our gold coming in better. Maybe I need to get a holder set up for our conveyors again because that was making some pretty good money. Um, let's go ahead. Oh 
my god, there's so much. I'm thinking my brain's reeling right now, just thinking of what we could do. Um, like, it might be smart to go ahead and get the conveyors working with another forest of its own and have that feeding man. I mean, what, how much? We're already down to 2.5k. What is? What are we gonna get from the herbs here that will help us with with yellow? Is there anything in here that is good underneath the medical side of things? It doesn't look like it. It looks like we need to have the yellow will give us what I mean, the um, base herb thing. Bandages, is that going there? we we'll poultice. Okay, so that's that would make that with a bandage. Okay. So in the poultice actually itself is better. Or that is used to make it. I uh, gotcha, I think. I don't know. I don't know. We have the fish oil. So maybe we need to focus on getting this automated yet again a little bit better. Uh, since we have our own areas. What are you guys doing? Did you bring stone in here? This is supposed to be planks only, man. This is supposed to be planks only. This is a plank only situation. Plank! Let's do planks. And item filter planks. Get rid of this. There we go. That will make those start producing again, and so will this. So that'll get rid of you. And we're full here, then. I'm going to go ahead and run something over to our general store. Uh, let's do... Let's lift it off the ground, too, because that would seem smarter. This way we can make some more cash flow off of our just resources sitting. Um, and let's go up another one. And actually, let's change this guy to that and those look better in the air there we go and then do this and then get this over here there we go nice and you can see how this game is gonna get like eventually it's gonna get like it could become a hot mess and the, if, if you don't manage like how you do your conveyors right and stuff, but I'd like to have the next tier conveyors unlocked and have mining unlocked and then start looking at the potential of what we could do to that's a barn. The, uh, the potential of what we could do like to for a neater setup for our basic components to maintain a certain amount of coins coming in and the happiness rating. Well, that's going to be associated with the amount of coins pretty much and have a nice variety of goods for our people so they can be max happy. So we get extra efficiency for free. And that's going to be the big thing to push for because we'll eventually hit a cap, I think, on the houses we can have. So to be able to get further and do more things, we need to make people super duper happy. There we go. So now they're going to get some at least of this now. And that'll let people continue working now. Very nice. And the barn is just staying full, man. Not mad at that. Okay, cool. And then that's more, that's more blue coins. That's a good deal. And how far are we on our railways? 24, huh? Excellent. I still want to get in the medicinal stuff, but we need to do the... Uh, well, oh, wow. We are short on time, too. Uh, this is what happens, man. You play the game, you get lost. Um, what if I do have camera since you guys have seen the process already of how to make the conveyors? I'll get a conveyor system set up um, with the stuff we've already done, and we'll go from there. But either way, as always, guys, thank you so very much. And you guys have a good night.